Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you this really cool circle cutout effect in Adobe Photoshop. This effect is inspired by Ian Woods. He actually prints out photos and actually cuts them out. Um, but I'm going to show you how you can do this in Photoshop very easily. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and let's get straight into it. So first things first, if you're a student or teacher, you can actually get 60% off the entire Adobe Creative Cloud Suite, including Photoshop. So make sure to check the link in the description as well as pin comment for that. So right here we have a portrait I'll be working with. And the first thing you wanna do is go to the top left right here and you wanna right click on the marquee tool. So I think by default, it's the rectangular marquee tool but you want to right click on it and press elliptical marquee tool. And what you'll notice when you drag it is it won't actually create a circle. Um, it'll actually create like an oval or whatever uh, free form shape you're creating here. So to create an actual circle, if that's the goal is to hold shift while dragging. And now you create a perfect circle and it'll keep those proportions. All you want to do is really just make random circles and just copy and paste them. So in this case, I'm just going to make one around your face right here. We're going to press command C to copy. And then we're going to press command or control V in order to paste. And now if we press V on our keyboard or the move tool, uh, we're able to move this around. So I'm just going to slightly shift it. And now you want to click back on the main image and you just want to make other circles and sort of move them around. So I'm going to press control C, control V. We're going to move this here. And you want to make sure that you're selecting on this bottom layer here in order to uh, keep copying and pasting. And what I found looks really nice is when you stack different circles. So what I mean by this is, let's just say we take her hair here. Her hair color is a lot different than, let's just say her shirt color, which is like black. So if we copy and pasted it and stacked it on top of something else, uh, let's just say this, there's a lot of contrast within that, right? So I'm gonna press Control T or Command T in order to resize this. So if we press Control T, you can see we're able to resize it. So I would just put the circle within another circle and that's one way you could do this. And instead of stacking, you can also put one circle under the other. It's very similar to stacking, except it's not fully in the circle. So you could do something like that. I would recommend doing this and stacking with two different circles that are maybe a different color. So that's easier to see. So right here, these two circles are sort of the same color, so it doesn't really do anything. But let's just say we take her elbow right here make a circle and copy and paste. And now if we moved it, you can see there's a big difference right here. And you can also rotate the circles. So you wanna press Control T or Command T again, and then we can rotate them. And we could also do the same thing with their face. So click on the face right here, press Command T, and then we can move it like this. Same thing with their hair. And then what we end up with is a really cool abstract graphic. So I think this really looks good for magazines and posters. And although it's a very simple effect, it really adds some character to what is a really simple image. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and also check out the playlist in the description for more Photoshop tutorials like this. And yeah, my name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.